from the desk of Riccati. Hey, <laughs> welcome back to my Corvette channel, you guys. How you doing? Thanks for taking the time to check in. And real quick, up front, man, I knew it was going to blow up. I knew you guys were going to have a lot of comments on our Sunday Coffee with Conti talking about the five reasons to pay over sticker. And you guys flipped out. Some of you to the extreme. It's the old adage. You see what you want to see. You hear what you want to hear. You missed the message. You drew your own conclusions. Hey, Rick, man, uh, you prepping us for something coming? You get ready. You ready to put that hammer down? Yeah, you gotta put the money on the wood, make the deal look good. Yeah, the price, no, the price is not going up with us. I told you what we do on this channel is share my experiences, your experiences. We talk about the car, we talk about the market. And I told you up front in that video, you missed it. We were sharing a different perspective of the marketplace. I thought that article from Corvette Blogger was well thought out. Um, and it, it really had some justification to it. It is, let's face it guys, it's not what you want to hear, but it is a true supply and demand right now. There's people that we're doing business with, and I think it's going to be, It's by the time they get their car, it's going to be two years. Who in the hell waits two freaking years for a car? Is that just bizarre? That's just, that's just everything that we've been going through and it, it is still lingering on. Some of my customers right now for the month of February, I've only gotten two cars built in the month of February. It is just crazy. But thank you for understanding. Thank you for, you know, hanging in there. And thanks for the Sunday video for engaging. I knew that I, I, I didn't even have to ask you to make comments. You guys are right there. Uh, the conversations are very good. And I told you that Chevy Watch, I know they don't like to admit it, but I've heard that Chevy watches us. So uh, the feedback that you provided, I'm sure will uh, not fall on deaf ears. But it was an interesting perspective, was it not? I'll tell you. And, and I go through a lot of things behind the scenes that I didn't talk about in that video on Sunday I should have. When I have a back out situation and I've got a car available, you know, I fight to defend you guys to sell the car at retail at MSRP. I use that and I, I even talked about it on Sunday. I, I got this baseball mentality and this analogy. So I like to do base hits, small ball, keep the guys on the bases, keep them moving. In fact, real quick, I played some computer baseball last night with my son Ryan, and that's how I won in the ninth inning. Ricky was small ball, a little bit. I wasn't trying to crush it. The base hit here, base hit here, run, run, run. Yeah, yeah, I won seven to two. But anyways, that's what I try to use in the sales. You know, I tease and say that I'm a Corvette farmer. By planting those seeds, by doing the right thing, will generate you the next sale, the referral sale, the word of mouth. Whether you do business or not, just say, hey, you know what? I like this guy. This, this Rick guy in Ohio, Patasla, whatever. Patasla is how you say it, uh, just outside of Columbus. I like him because he's no bullshit, all right? So um, that's what we try to present to you guys. But when I have a situation where a car comes available, we've got brokers right now that are committed. Anything that's available new, 10, 15, $20,000 over sticker, they'll pay right now. This is a business. Everybody's in it to make money, okay? You're a consumer trying to save money, but my bosses are like, hey, Rick, man, what are you? We look at the auction reports, we get these calls. I got this car that's available. And Rick, what are you doing? Small ball. Keep, keep the runners moving on the basis. Thank you for the understanding. So yeah, I was not prepping you for anything. I was just sharing another perspective, and I'm not afraid to talk about anything on this channel. If you haven't figured that out by now, then welcome. <laughs> So yeah, that was pretty crazy. I mean, I go, let me tell you this real quick, a little longer than I wanted to be, but uh, we've got some fun stuff for you today. And at the end of today's upload, we're going to share another beautiful ride segment. Man, I always say this, but I, I'm telling you, today, some cool pictures, some fun stuff in the ride segment. Don't miss that. So back in C7, when that launched, you know, talking about doing the right thing for future business considerations, I had a guy... I don't know how we got a hold of us because I wasn't doing YouTube at 14. Uh, it was from Saudi Arabia, okay? And he's trying to buy, check this out, trying to buy 25 Stingrays for a Saudi prince and whomever. And I'm like, on the phone, I'm like, what? Uh, number one, I can't sell new cars out of the country. 
that's a bummer. I would love to do that, especially with the right-hand drive stuff coming up for C8. So I tell this guy, I said, hey, man, I can't do that. Chevy policy, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I said, there better be a pot of gold at the end of this rainbow because Ricky's going to be out of a job. <laughs> I just can't do it. And he's willing to pay over sticker and one of 25. It just it doesn't work like that. And the export stuff was moving extremely slow. And he saw that the American dealers were getting a ton of cars. So he was going you know, where the masses were. So that's kind of crazy. So there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff that I go through in representing the car. I'm trying to defend you guys, you know, and it's tough too. So I do that. And then I've had this year documented, I think it's eight or nine guys that have bought cars from us and sold them for 20 to $30,000 over sticker. Some of them were intentional to buy the car and flip it and call me, hey, uh, Rick, how fast can you get me another car? Man, I just made 25 grand, man. Uh, how fast can you get me another one? I said, what? <laughs> I got news for you. You're at the bottom of the line. I got people still even got the car yet. I'm not, I'm not ordering you another car. Enjoy your cash. Are you kidding me? That's the nuttiness in the marketplace. Okay, so that's my opening for today. Let's do it. We got a couple of cars we're going to send off to uh, Colorado and Illinois today. Both feature this unique, as I told you on Sunday, uh, this beautiful upscale Morello red interior. Let's look at it real close first, and then we'll send those cars off, and then we'll get into your beautiful rides. Uh, have you subscribed to this channel yet? Come on, man, hit that thing. Thank you. Appreciate it. Welcome. Okay, guys, thanks again for joining us today. Let's feature the Morello Red Interior. A couple of send-offs coming up. They were done in very cloudy conditions, so right now I want to show this off. This is Dennis's car that we sent to Florida last year. Keep in mind, Morello Red is a 3LT interior only, so if your outside combo will match up with this, this is something, if you're gonna check that 3LT box, this is something you really have to consider. And looking at it on the configurator versus looking at it right now in the sun will appear different. But it is such a different interior. It does have very specific characteristics right down the center console where the cup holders are and where your hand rests on the mode selector. That's always gonna be done in the suede in the color of the interior. Look on the door panel there. You can see that little section over there around the door switches. That too is done in suede. Always on 3LT, your A pillar is going to be done in the suede. If you've got a coupe, you're going to have your roof done in the suede and it'll have a stitch pattern. Now, if you have a convertible, you won't have that stitching pattern, but you will have the Alcaterra suede part of the roof and coming down behind the nacelles on a convertible hardtop. But you can just see how this sets up well. This is a blade silver. I miss that color. And how well it sets up with this. And you can see, too, if you're thinking about calipers, well, the edge red calipers, in my opinion, go best with a Morello red interior. Again, if you're doing it on the configurator, you will appear that the bright red goes well. No, this interior is just so classy. Uh, look at this part here on the dash. It too, in that multi-level part, it has a little section there in the Alcatara suede, just adding to the classiness of the interior, the uniqueness of this interior. Now the carbon fiber dash that we're showing you here, that's an option. So if you don't get carbon fiber right there in the driver IP, that'll be done in black, but gives you an idea what it looks like in the carbon fiber. Uh, just so unique. And if you're looking for something that is just gonna be stunning when someone opens the door, this, this interior, I've described it before on the channel, it looks like a fine wine, does it not? Morello Red Interior. This is truly one of those diamonds in the rough within our C8 interior palette. Uh, think about it the next time you get ready to order your car. You could see here from these pictures we're showing you in the sun uh, how different it really is, how unique and how special it is, and how fun it is. I mean, you're already getting a classy, exotic looking car. Why not match it up on the interior with Morello Red? Okay, let's show you the two cars that we're sending to Colorado and Illinois today and a fun ride segment still to come on today's upload. Man, I just can't get over. I'm bummed that we have this crummy weather to show it off, but I just can't get over how beautiful and how stunning the Morello Red interior is. If you're doing a 3LT C8 Corvette, you've got to consider Morello Red. It is so unique and people, when they look inside your car, their mouths just drop. They're like, oh my gosh, that's so classy. That's so beautiful. That's kind of a kind of effect that you want. <laughs> look at Doug waving to us. <laughs> He's been here several times lately. It's unusual that I'm here and he don't have the truck open. For once, I'm actually prepared to load a car. How about that? And now I'm waiting on the truck driver. I'm just glad that they're here. Been dealing with a lot of 
this all over the country and this is going to TJ in Illinois and I want to thank Kurt and Julie for referring TJ to us and talking to him he had intentions of coming here too a real busy guy really cool guy and uh, he goes hey man I'm gonna come out there we're gonna have a beer together now I'm not a drinker but you know what I might just have a beer with TJ and then I would spit it out I'd say I'm not a beer drinker <laughs> look outside the car the sun's trying to come through that's a good thing there's a couple quick pictures that I took of the car this is a CTF car the other CTF car in almost the same situation uh, like Dave and Fran in San Jose when TJ found that this was available he says I'll take it do you want me to tell you what it is first nope I'll, it is a Corvette yeah I'll take it <laughs> guys are awesome playing in the woods in that one vlog if you saw that on that one Sunday Coffee with Conti episode. Man, we're seeing you a lot lately. Good morning. Yeah, my little movie star. What's happening, yeah. dude? Good to see you, man. It was funny. I talked to TJ, let him know that the driver's going to be here to pick up the car. TJ told me what you guys said. He's Because he's picking up this car early in the morning, and TJ says, well, when do you think I'll have the car? And Doug says, well, he goes, it depends if Rick's going to uh, screw around for two hours and film a YouTube video. I could try to be there the same day, <laughs> so I'm not going to hold you up. <laughs> so I didn't say it exactly like that, <laughs> but, uh, but I'm pushing to get to Denver. Yeah, oh, I got gotcha. you. And so I'm going to get That's him. right on the way. Yeah, Yeah, I'm going to. good. I'll have him off this afternoon. Absolutely. Hey, I want to get him there fast, too. I know you especially, the customers, want to get your car there fast, too. Once you do all the paperwork and your overnight and stuff, you're like, okay. Mine starts to wander. Where's my car? All right, so that's good. Yeah, so no two-hour uh, skits and so forth. Gonna get this thing loaded. all signed and it is time to give TJ a quick send off pat send off pat for TJ in Illinois congratulations man thank you so much I am looking forward to meeting you someday a little fist pump a little handshake something yeah a little high five absolutely and yes we're gonna run the wing for TJ now, he's the type of guy that's gonna enjoy just sitting looking at this car and that's enjoyable too he's got a nice facility in which this will be stored and I said, man, you're going to love this car. You're going to love how it drives. It's a different experience. He says, you know what, man? I'm going to be glad just to walk out in my building and, and know that it's there. So <laughs> either way, man. Thanks, TJ, for the business. Nice working with you, man. It's another beautiful day, as you guys can see, but it is freaking freezing cold, man. No earmuffs, although they'll be on here as soon as we're done talking. I want to thank Tom in Colorado for his business and for really truly hanging in there. He's another guy that ordered a 2020 and because of the cuts and the shutdown of the pandemic, etc. cetera, bah, 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 yeah, he didn't get his 20. We did put him in the front of the line and here is his 2021. And here are some pictures and his specs.
you're excited. I can't wait to hear your feedback of the car. You showing it off in Colorado. I mean, that's what you're supposed to do with these. Don't, don't leave it in the garage. Get it out, drive it, and enjoy it. This is, as you saw from the specs, the regular Stingray non-Z51. And with it being cold, driving it on, you know, this area to the truck, I could feel the difference in those tires. You're gonna love this car, man. And how about that Morello red interior? Is that just pure class? Oh my gosh, you guys, that is beautiful. And it looks fantastic on Tom's black car. You guys also saw from the pictures and the specs, uh, we're shooting into the sun, so you can't really see it right now, but I, I just like doing the send off pet with my right hand. That's coming up in a second, but you saw the edge red calipers and I think they go perfect with the Morello red interior. Way to go, Tom, nice job. Congratulations, sir. All the way to Colorado from Ohio, we do have a send off pack for Tom. To show the driver those front parking cameras. You like that front parking camera feature, don't you? Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah, it helps you guys tremendously. Looks like he's got a uh, another C8 on there. He's going to pick up a uh, 41 Willys replica coupe, and then this will be on the way to Tom. a second hang on a second how did that car <laughs> the car <laughs> the car that missed a date with the car crusher how did it make it into the beautiful ride segment <laughs> I'm sorry. okay keep rolling And I didn't understand that 